Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daisy Hanfield and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some things that you should know before visiting the East African country, Tanzania, Tanzania. I don't know which one you guys call it, but I say Tanzania. So number one, the official language of the country is Swahili. Me, I speak English and I found that a lot of the people do not understand English. I did find that maybe some of the younger people did understand me, but for the most part, a lot of people do not speak English. So do not be alarmed. You might have to use a lot of Google translation or just learn a little bit of Swahili if you're open to it. I did manage to learn a few words here and there. I learned Sawa, which means okay. I learned Kidogo, which means a little bit. I learned Karibu, which means welcome. I learned a few things here and there. Number two, when I arrived at the airport, I had to pay for a visa upon arrival, which was 50 USD. I'm not sure if other African countries have to pay it, but I do know that if you are from Europe or the Caribbean or anywhere outside of Africa, you will have to pay 50 USD to enter the country. You pay it at the airport. You can pay by either cash or you can use card. Both are accepted. Number three, it's a cash-based country, so make sure you have cash with you because a lot of places do not accept cards. I'm gonna show you guys the currency so you can see what it looks like. This is 2,000 shillings. And this is 1,000 shillings. I recommend this app to you guys. It's called XZ Exchange. If you are someone who always travels and wants to know what the rate exchange is at the moment for every country, you can use this app. So while you are in the country, I recommend that you use that app. Number four, I found that certain things were a little bit difficult to find. For example, I ran out of some of my beauty products while being in the country and I found it extremely difficult to find. And if you do find some of the things, it will be super expensive. So I do recommend when it comes to your beauty products, your fragrances, even like certain clothing items that you like, make sure you bring it with you because you will have to pay premium prices for certain things because they aren't in abundance. There are no big designer franchises like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Fendi and all those other big brands. You will not find those franchises here. Number five, the food is amazing, guys. While being in the country, I think within the first month, I gained like 10 pounds, no joke. The food is just so good. I had to stop myself. I had to get someone to start preparing my healthy meals for me. For me, it's very easy to gain weight. Naturally, my cheeks are chubby. So imagine when I gain weight, how much chubbier they get. So I have to be very mindful of what I eat. Or someone who's weight conscious, bear that in mind. The food is amazing though. It's amazing. But of course, a lot of the food is oil based and just a lot of starch and carbs. And one of my favorite things to eat while in the country was cuckoo and plantain. I love plantain and the way they made the chicken was just so amazing. Like, yeah, I had to stop myself because uh, you're gonna enjoy food. I must say, if you're a food lover, this country is for you because the food is on point. But if you're someone who's weight conscious or health conscious, just bear that in mind. <laughs> Be prepared to eat a lot of good food or maybe get yourself someone who can cook healthy meals for you while you're in the country. Side note, if you're someone who's on a diet or you're very, very health conscious, um, leave a comment below and I can recommend a few places that I used that prepared very healthy meals for me. Cold pressed juices, vegetarian options, just a lot of vegetarian meals. So leave a comment below if you're interested in that, then I can help you with that. Okay, number six, you can get around using Uber or you can get around using Bolt. Bolt is a cheaper option. But I must say, you will find that there are a lot of hiccups when it comes to Bolt. You'll find that sometimes they cancel when they say that they're almost there. Literally like two minutes before arriving, they just decide to cancel. You'll find that sometimes the car does not match the description which they provided in the app or sometimes even the registration number is not the same. I find that the standard for Bolt is lower than the standard for Uber. But as I said, Bolt is a cheaper option. Both of the services, you'll find that they have different prices and different options. You can either take a bike, you can take a three-wheeled car, you can take a normal-sized car, or you can take 
an Excel car. So yeah, all of them, both of them have those options. I would suggest personally to get yourself a driver. If you're someone who's gonna be in the country for a long time or you are very particular about certain things, I would suggest just getting yourself a driver. I mean, for me, I find it to be more convenient and it can also be cheaper in the long run. Okay, number seven. I find that it's cheap to live in the country, but you also have to be very mindful because if you are a foreigner or you're someone who don't really know prices, they will try to scam you. But I guess that's common in a lot of places. But still, just be mindful and try to get familiar with prices. And number eight, when I arrived in the country, I did not need a COVID test. And up to the time of filming this video, no COVID test was needed. And you will find that a lot of people do not wear masks. Actually, most of the people are not wearing their mask, but I suggest wearing your mask still just to protect yourself and to protect others, even though people aren't using it, as I said, but just to be safe, bring your mask and still <laughs> wear your mask, protect yourself. Number nine, it's a very slow paced country. If you are someone who's used to the fast paced life and everything just being done swiftly, it reminds me a lot of the Caribbean, to be honest. Things are done very slowly. Even when it comes to getting your hair done, any service, you'll find that it's just very slow. So bear that in mind and make sure you just bring a lot of patience with you. Okay, number 10, Dar es Salaam, which is one of the cities in Tanzania, Tanzania is very hot. It reminds me of the Caribbean as well. It's super hot. It's one of the hotter cities in the country. So make sure you bring your sunscreen, even though you should be wearing your sunscreen anyway. And yeah, bring yourself a hat or you can even purchase yourself a hat here. It's very cheap. So just bear that in mind, be prepared for some, some heat because it's gonna be fire fire. <laughs> Number 11, if you are someone who don't really like to go out, you can order food from an app called Peaky. I found it to be almost similar to Uber Eats. As I said before, it is a cash-based country, so make sure you have cash upon arrival of your food. Number 12, OMG, listen to me. Mosquitoes, listen. These mosquitoes here, like, <laughs> they be some massive mosquitoes, like literally, ah, I don't know where these mosquitoes come from, but they are, they be out for blood. Like, they're not the normal mosquitoes. So make sure you have your mosquito repellent with you and uh, yes be prepared to see some big mosquitoes you know while being in the country i got some black dots marks on my skin from mosquito bites if you have any recommendations please hook your girl up tell me what i can use to get rid of them you'll find that when you go to restaurants at night there are a lot of mosquitoes and some restaurants they don't have mosquito repellent so just bring your own or just buy some when you get in the country so just bear that in mind have yourself some mosquito repellent because these mosquitoes they will eat you up as i said these mosquitoes they they're out for blood they're not your little baby mosquitoes yes guys um that's it for me i hope you guys found all these tips useful and if you have anything that you would like to add please put it in the comment section below in case i missed anything um that's it for me if you guys are interested in watching faith-based videos and travel videos this is the channel for you if you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe to my youtube channel i would hope that you guys watch more of my videos <laughs> anyway that's it thank you guys so much i really appreciate the support until next time bye